It's Monday. The snow is still on the ground here in Central Texas. Yeah! And we're ready to get twisted with some 3DO games. Also, what the fuck? It's not supposed to snow here. It, Why is there all this snow? The snow, the way snow works in Texas is that it lasts for, God, um, a, 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 a few hours. And then it's around, like, maybe for five hours. And then it turns into a horrible brown slush and you're done. But no, there's a blanket of white snow. It snowed all day yesterday, and the snow is still here. It was weird, yeah. Was for like so several weird. hours, you'd look outside, and it would be like snow. Like, oh, this is normal pre- precipitation for most parts of the world, but not here. It's, no. It, it dropped for hours, and it stuck around. I'm looking at it right now. Also looking at a misbehaving cat, so oh, if yeah. our audio goes out, uh, she's to blame. Mm-hmm. Our cat's here, and she's being real weird. Real quick, thank you so much to Spin Cut. 20-month resub. Thank you so much. Spin Cut says, it's noon on a Monday. Time to get to whistle. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hope and, y'all hope y'all are ready to get twisted because I am. And thank you so much, Smubble Bear. Forty one month resub. Wow, thank you. And they say Joker Aga. Which, <laughs> the yes, tiny, we tiny j- that tiny Joker, but <laughs> that was uploaded as an emergency, and thus it is very tiny, but it is not forgotten. Thank you. <laughs> Hold me closer, tiny Joker. Oh my God, we're gonna do this. Well, it's time for three do. Uh, we've got a pretty good schedule running here. Alex does some bullshit PC games that I don't care about. And then we get to the games that everyone cares about for 3DO. (laughs) Today, we're going to show off one of the major ones, Twisted, the game show published by EA for 3DO. Uh, this is a 3DO exclusive, never got ported anywhere else. It's full of FMV, full of stock footage, full of 90s edginess, so brace yourself for that. Yeah, I'm just going to say, uh, these games are probably not just... Beyond a little touch problematic, especially when it comes with race. So I'm just warning ahead of time. It's probably going to be fucked. Real quick, thank you to Revenant for the 18-month resub. Revenant says, snow in Texas? Now that is twisted. It is. (laughs) Totally. And thank you, Crush Gals. You Eighth, nine month resub. Crush Gal says Solomon Grundy multimedia on a Monday. That's <laughs> thank you. Good. I can think of no better way to start the stream with that. So let's do it. All uh, right. Shit. Okay. Three D O. Three D O is now happening in five seconds. Get ready. Tune away if uh, if that's not what you want to see. <laughs> thank you, Choo Choo C, for the nine months resub. Choo Choo C says love y'all. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you might want to reserve that kind of. That kind of speech for after you see the game. You may not love us after this. Thank you. Yes, that's that's very Tude esque there, Cambrian era with the with yeah. bouncers. We got to get back in the spirit of the nineties. Yeah. Everyone get weirdly aggressive at one another. Actually, don't do that. I, like, ca- no, I kind of hate that. That hasn't ended yet. So. <laughs> We, we have the rest of the internet for that. Yeah, you can you can do that anywhere. Uh, thank you so much, Tough Ghost, for the subscription. Do appreciate that. Nice. Thank you. Here we go. Uh, The E of A. Electronic Arts. What are they going to bring us? Oh my god. It's twisted. Oh, that's so twisted. Live from the palindrome, it's time to get twisted with your host, Twink Twink? Wait, have I never noticed his name was Twink? No. Yeah. Ah, it's like I'm watching Nickelodeon all over again. Ah. I mean, yes, he is technically not a twink, but he is technically a twink, too. Okay, audio better now? Yeah, it's important you hear this. Let's move on. Why don't we find out which of television's tortured talent will be playing this round of Twisted. Thank you, Twink. Contestant number one will sell you the shirt off your back. He's the Clunker King, he's Wormington, and he's Dog Otis. <laughs> Come on down to Wormington, where service is a slogan. <laughs> now, Alex, watch carefully. You have to pick a character. That guy's based off of Contestant Cal Worthington, so I have to pick him. When she's not racing camels or I don't think we're gonna pick this character. Channeling and vodka. She knows what you're thinking, Madame Elaine. I think we're just gonna when pass I'm her by. Elaine, I can read your mind, and you should be ashamed. <laughs> I am. Yeah, a little bit. And now for our next contestant, Ray. Oh no, this is Alex. Raised by ushers, he's a legend in his own mind. Put your hands together for Johnny Powell. 
Cool, Daddy O. <laughs> okay. Is, is that guy's? Is the joke about that guy that he's just like hot or something? I guess. And steal your wallet. Self-appointed financial to the Almighty. He's humble Howard. Eternal security in the kingdom of humble Howard. Operators are standing by. I like that shot where we're all staring down at him. It's it's there's a lot of shots like that in the nineties. Why? I blame music videos. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is Soundgarden's fault somehow. Admiral of Aerobics, Sergeant as well. The war crimes workout, holy shit. You'll get spent if it kills ya. I like her. And then last but not least, who is contestant number six, Ray? Friend of folks and presidents alike, he travels the world spreading love and tooth decay. Short in stature, but long on flavor, he's Uncle Fez. Give these our chance. What do you say? Hmm. What is... Oh, it's a Pez dispenser called Fez. Hey, that's that's a weak joke even for the 90s. That's really weak. Look, we're on 3DO here. Then press the A button. We don't have high standards. Everyone has made a selection. Okay, so uh, we're getting the original 3DO experience by using daisy chained controllers. Both Alex and I will be competing on, on this game, so place your bets now. I'm gonna pick her. Now, Major Steel, how smart do you think you are? Use hmm. the cursor pad to set your trivia difficulty level and lock it in with the A button. Okay, let's have a gentleman's agreement. We both picked the same difficulty level, but what should that be? Child? Adult? Should we do adult? Expert. I'm not doing expert. Expert is so unfair. I wish wow. I could do none, but I think, we should just, I think adult is the least embarrassing. <laughs> Hope you're ready for the 3DO to embarrass us then. Oh, I'm going to be absolutely destroyed. All right, Alex. Player, Hope you made your decision. Press C when all players have I, made like, look at the height graph over there. Those people are all like three feet tall. I gotta pick Cal Worthington, sorry. Okay, fair enough. Now, Worthington, how smart do you cool think outfit. you are? Will the next player please select a contestant? Press C when all players have made their selection. Well, all players have made their selection. May God have mercy on our souls. Let's start playing Twisted. Uh. Throughout the game, I will refer to you by your contestant's name. The object of Twisted is really quite simple. Roll the cyber die, complete the various challenges, and get to the end first. And what happens then, Ray? Well, Twink, our lucky winner will receive a one-way trip out of this TV wasteland into whatever the hell's on the other side of the screen. <laughs> Bleak. <laughs> Ooh, I hear reality is just beautiful this time of year. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> well, gee, I can't wait to get going. Hannah, are you as excited as I am? Great. I'm excited. I I'm now pretty hype. Get twisted. Warmington, you're up first. Cool. Go for it, Warmington. Get ready for Ooh, good roll. Wheel of torture. No, no, no. Ooh, bad, bad roll. bad roll, actually. Bad, really bad roll. So really one, bad roll. You lose your turn if you uh, choose badly here. That doesn't look good. Major Steel. So I'm All going to be stuck defending. here probably for the rest of the game. Okay, I picked Major Steel for one reason. You're looking at it right now. <laughs> look at that. The, oh my god. Sheer enthusiasm. <laughs> 60 frames per second perfection you're on the challenge square Wormington take the controller and secretly select a row from the matrix select a row Wormington oh okay Wormington take the controller now major steel take the controller and select a column from the matrix I choose column C facelift oh Use hell the cursor pad to assemble three complete <laughs> faces <laughs> I'm getting twisted already. So it's pretty twisted to me. Okay, who we we gotta? Okay, well we do that and then that and then. Uh oh, <laughs> that was a loud noise. Yes? No? Uh. I need to match all three. Oh, I get it. This sucks. <laughs> oh no. 
I didn't get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> Big ouch! The wheel of torture! See if you can get off the wheel of torture. I like that there's two of you on the screen. I like that I'm screaming. Oh, you almost had it. You just gotta line up all three greens, I think. No! On the no. wheel of torture, you stay. Your turn. Unfortunately, I don't think that was Getty Lee, but yes, that was Getty Lee. It's probably Getty Lee. You are so lucky. Wormington, take the controller and secretly... Now I like his little steel, dog. Take the controller and select a column from the matrix. Face what? God use the cursor damn it. To assemble three complete no, it's faces. good. That's not what I wanted you to do. Wonderful. <laughs> There's more mini games than this. <laughs> oh, that's a really loud buzzer noise. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Yeah, I mean, you were like, hey, we got it. I did it. You did it. Uh huh. Major Steel, you're still up. Oh, I get another turn? Sweet. Yeah, if you do it while you, you get another turn, you're, you're going to win. This is looking good for Major Steel. Wormington, take the controller and secretly select a row from the. Now, Major Steel. Okay, the face the thing isn't on here, so we're, we are going to see a different minigame this time. Trivia. Answer all the questions correctly. Ooh, 1993 trivia. My expertise. <laughs> Uh, that would be Russia. Fuck. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. Did <laughs> you get on that wheel? What do you say? Okay. I, haven't, I haven't been outside in many months. I don't know what coastlines are. <laughs> God damn it, Alex. Major Steel, give it your best. You're just gonna win by default. It's pretty good. It's challenge time. I haven't been tortured yet. This is looking pretty good. Wormington, take the controller and secretly select. You know the business. Now, Major mm -hmm. Steel, take the controller and select a cup. Zapper, use the cursor pad and the A button. You wanted me to pick the, the face thing, didn't you? Stop the no. Look at all those 3DOs. Oh, I love those little logos. Okay, you're, you're zapping commercials here. Commercials were a much hated thing in the 90s. Not like now, where they're much beloved. <laughs> oh yeah, we used to res we used to hate ads back in the day, and now we're like, wow, can't get enough. Whenever I see five different ads before a two-minute video, I'm like, thank God, thank God, I can find out. Ooh, this isn't looking... about Squarespace. Oh, oh just th barely. Wow. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> that. Don't touch that dial. It's so nice. Be right back. And now a commercial break. Visible dog toys. What is it? Absolutely nothing. Just grab a hunk and throw it. Dumb mutt not included. <laughs> there are no problems. Call me. I'll liquidate your marriage and your finances. And now back to the game. Is that on home video? I I think so. We're still up. Still your turn. Bonus square. Roll again. You're toning up. Good for you. Well done. Keep going. Hey, so, I just saw how big the the thing is. It's too big. It's very large. It's larger than I was expecting, actually. I was hoping this would be over in, you know, like a minute. Now, Major Steel, trivia. Answer all the questions correctly. We may be here for four, five, twelve hours. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good graphic. Oh, oh, um, I remember nothing about Three's Company. What do you remember? <laughs> I only remember the conceit of the show, and that's it. Who's this? I don't know. It's probably Antonio's, right? I assume that sounds it's like something that would be in a sitcom. Yeah, that was Angelino's. I've played how many mini games and succeeded at one? Okay, pay attention. You got this. You did it! Oh my god. I hate the wheel of torture. Wormington. It's torture. You're still up. Hey, no, we, finally there get, go. we finally get to hear from Wormington. You're on the challenge square. Oh, thank god. Torture me, Danny. 
Now, Warmington, take the control. Departure Lounge. Use the cursor pad and the A button to recreate the picture. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hope this is a slide puzzle. Wait, you're good at those, aren't you? No, I'm bad at them. Uh. uh oh, okay. This is baby mode. How'd you get the baby puzzle? Hey, that was too easy. Like, that that wasn't even Who a puzzle. <laughs> You're still up. Hey, I think the game finally took pity on you. It's really unfair that they gave Close that to swear. me because Roll again. that was really easy. Alex is catching up. Now that's a sweet deal. Good job, Wormington. <laughs> you go again. Beat that challenge. Okay. Something good, please. Major Steel, take the control. Now, Vagrant Waste Drill, I also feel cheated. Everything paper. about this makes me feel cheated. Uh, run, Otis! Run! Wait a minute. Run, Otis, run! I think we did that out of order, but whatever. I got the result I wanted. Yeah, I got blown up by a nuke, so thanks. Hey, last team up. <laughs> I'd like to apologize to all our Spanish viewers. I, I, as well as all our viewers from every other country. I was gonna say, can we just apologize to our viewers in general? All of them? I will not apologize for this dance. You don't have to. Take a spin on the wheel of torture. Hmm, okay. Have fun. Press the A button on three of a kind. It's gotta be reds, right? So let's wait for this to come around and then I we think do this. Any of them. Yes! Oh nice! Same. I don't job, I don't know about it. that. <laughs> you go again. I think we're almost halfway done. The challenge square. If I keep rolling ones, this could last a while. Mm-hmm. Wormington, take the now Major Steel, take the controller and select Mystery Matinee. Use the cursor pad and the A button to unscramble the movie before time runs out. Yeah, the the dice rolling song is really good in this game. Mm-hmm. That's what's keeping me going. I get the slide puzzle. I see how it is. This is I am somehow jokerified on your behalf. This is unfair. And then we do this, put this up here, and then we move it up there, and there it's it's a there. It's a video. It It's public domain, baby. It's cheap stock footage. Well done. Keep going. I really would just rather dance. I mean, we, we all want to dance. On the challenge Stop square. giving me ones. Wormington. It's just trying to get me to catch up. Now, Major Steel, trivia. This is that rubber banding I've heard so much about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Time runs out. Yeah, we are totally going to see the, the the black and white footage of the guy getting hit with a cannonball. Yeah. How many countries are in South America, you think? Here's someone in a kimono to help us out. Ooh, bye. So, okay, info from Bob. Uh, apparently the guy who plays Johnny Pow was in a ton of other things, including Shredder Wormington. in Michael Bay's uh, remake of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Wow. Beautiful. What a glow up. This Good is you. Roll. You're going to the bonus square. Nice. Ah, oh, shit, I'm catching up. We'll roll again. Very impressive. You still yeah, sorry for vaporizing uh, the whatever lady, that lady with the kimono. We just you entered the challenge zone. We just had to. Okay, I picked the first one. Major Steel, okay. take the controller and secret. Now you pick. Now Warmington, take Zapper. Use the cursor pad and the A button to. I'm starting to get this game. It's starting to make sense to me. That's Not sure if I like yeah. that. I was gonna say that's dangerous. Okay, you gotta zap the commercials. Invisible dog toys. What is it? Yeah, I've heard the second TMNT reboot is way better. But but Michael Bay, Rocksteady, and Bebop, I don't know if I'm sold. Yeah, I love sound effects that are way, way louder than everything else. It's great for mixing. I said, it's great for mixing! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Boo. Boo. Major Boo. Steel. 
That <laughs> dance gets me every time. <laughs> I'm just glad we're getting the official 3DO experience here. On yourself. Beat that challenge. So many 3DO fans experience this just like we're playing it right now. Daisy chained together, steel, sitting in close proximity, from the forced to endure horrible comedy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hate this. To assemble three Stop that making me pit three. this. That's the, if you didn't choose that one, you wouldn't have... If you chose BRA, you would have been fine. You gotta use logic. Hey, don't talk to me about <laughs> yeah. logic. There's your logic. I'm talking down yeah. to my spouse on stream. Major Steel, you're still up. Bonus square, roll such again. A we have one viewer left at the end of this. It'll be a miracle. I was gonna say, anyone who's sticking around, I appreciate it. I didn't tell you, but this is a this is a challenge stream, mm -hmm. a challenge for the viewer. Oh, the bozo square. Lose a turn. I'm no bozo. Yeah, people like you that give aerobics a bad name. That's true. Wilmington. Good luck. Remember the aerobics craze? Yes. Beat that challenge. Remember yeah. aerobics VHS tapes. Remember Tybo. Major Steve, Ty who? Take the controller and secretly select. Now, Warmington. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Nice. Rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> and now, a word. Yeah, mouser part. size. Yeah. Oh, God. yeah. Doggy parts, we have everything you need to make your dog whole again. Dog part, head, leg, bed, everything. Delicious toothpaste. Fabulous shoe polish. Toothpaste. Shoe polish. Oh. Both a shoe polish and a toothpaste. And now, back to the game. Definitely home movies. I kind of love not, it. You're not professional up. studio cameras. I respect that, actually. Challenge, challenge, challenge. Major Steel, take the controller and secretly... Now, Warmington, take the controller and select... Trivia. Answer all, right, all the time questions to fail. correctly before time runs out. Alex headed off my strategy. I picked the row with all the bombs. <laughs> now, the Doric Order... Is a branch of what kind of architecture? Literally one of the only things I know about architecture, so I'm happy. You're making me look bad here, Alex. <laughs> Think or sink on the challenge square. Hey, did you press the button? Yes. It acted for me. The controller and secretly I got confused, no, believe it or no, not. No, it's okay. Believe that it or not, rocks. this game confused me. gave me a really good... Yeah, I rolled you a six. Thank you. I felt bad for you. The commercials and stop the fuse. Okay, no fuse. Was there an Arsenio Hall reference? I missed it. Oh yeah, yeah, that's where that came from. That thing we all still say. Hey, Hexagon Witch, welcome to hell. Yeah, this is an awful place. I guess this game is basically, you know TV, you know how much you hate things about TV, well let's amplify those things. I think you got this. I did, oh my god that was hard. Closing the gap. Yeah, Krungo, that was Arsenio Hall's like big thing. Mm-hmm, pumping your fist and going hoo hoo hoo. Yeah. You can't stop on an occupied space. Roll again. Good job, Wormington. <laughs> you go again. We're tied that up. That square is occupado. Roll again. I somehow got a zero. Wormington, you're still up. Wait, you could roll a zero on the bonus <laughs> square and it counts as another roll bonus? Thinking, cap kids. It's challenge time. Alex has officially pulled ahead by one square. Major Steel, take the controller. At now, Wormington, take the controller and select a column from the... Trivia. Answer all the questions correctly before More architecture time trivia, runs out. please. Ionic columns are part of which architecture? What is it, Alex? It was Othmar. I knew it wasn't Van Pelt, because that's like Linus's name. And yes. I'd be like if Linus's mom was his teacher, which is not true. Whoa! Looks like you're not going anywhere. Come on! I want to get up! Here. Once again, speaking for the audience. Great! A non-stop flight to the bonus square. Lucky dog. Good job, Wormington. You go hey, again. Hey, I'm kicking ass. I like that your wig looks like your dog. Oh, the bozo square. Lose oh, a turn. You're not very good at this, are you? 
Major Steel. <laughs> Step I don't right see up. how anyone can look at this and say that it sucks. But I can also see your point. Feeling brainy? You've got the challenge. Wormington, take the controller and secretly select a... Now, Major Steel, take the controller and select a column from the Matrix. This one. Sound bites. Use the cursor pad and the A button. Oh, we haven't seen this match one yet. Identical sounds. Oh my God, are those presidents? I, I don't so. want to hear presidents. Never again. Oh no, get get them out of here, all of them. Wow, all the best ones. Oh no. What do you think of the soundscape? That's Good what job, I think. Major Steel. <laughs> you go again. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Bonus square. I think they just trapped the actors in a room for eight hours and then just kind of recorded them. I was gonna say, have they been in quarantine too? Cause Major like. Steel, you're still up. <laughs> That would be me after several hours. You've landed on the challenge square! Wormington, take the controller and secretly select a row from the... Give me your worst, now Wormington. Steel, Got it. Trivia, answer all the questions correctly before time runs out. Uh... What? You mean Modoc, like the Marvel character? Oh, I feel so stupid looking at this. I've never felt stupid. It's California, you should have known. I should have. I don't know what that is. I'm afraid Power to look it up. Did. It's probably real fucked we'll up. Oh, thank no, God, a commercial. We'll I know this. you love those. Major Steel. But March on up to that. That wasn't a commercial. I'm robbed. It's a commercial for playing the game. Gimme big big spin, no whammy stop. Take a spin on the wheel of torture. To get off the wheel, press the A button on three of a kind. Ha You're just showing me up. Major Steel. You're still up. We're approaching the last few rungs. You, you just buzzed it. for me. I did, That's okay. I did the thing that you did. Oh. I literally don't care. <laughs> hey, neither do I, just by the way. Now, Major Steel, take the controller and select a column from the Matrix. Trivia. Answer all the questions correctly before time runs out. I keep trying to outguess you, but then I always end up with trivia. The first space shuttle, of course, was launched in 1981. A very important year. Mm-hmm. Well done. Keep going. Now, if this game looks familiar to you, it's because it's actually very similar to Club 3DO Station Invasion, a game we played many years ago. That was like this, but with kids and dogs. Hey, and, is, I, and is infinitely better than this, in my opinion. I love Station Invasion. I did it again. Now you get to see this. Stop. No, you can show me Good up. Job, Major That's Steel. okay. <laughs> you go again. I'm at ease now with this. Challenge, challenge, challenge! I'm speedrunning this now. Wormington, take the controller and secretly select a row from the Matrix. What'll it be, now, Major Mr. Steel, Worm? Take the controller. Oh! Fire in the hole! <laughs> well. Ooh, you're all dead. Gotta hurt. But then they bring me back in an endless cycle of life and death. And now, a word from our sponsor. Ladies, forget the guesswork. Let Stead Finder find your stud. Use sewer-scented Get Lost deodorant. One lift of your arm and they'll stay away for good. Now, back to Twink Fisdale and more to Twink Fisdale? Wormington, it's to you. Man, what horrible thing is that an anagram for? <laughs> I know it's supposed to be Wink Martindale's Square. as a parody of that, yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. but... God. Major Steel, take the controller and secretly select a row from the...
Now, Warmington, take the controller and select a column from the matrix. Departure Lounge. You Use read me like a book. Add the A button to <laughs> recreate the picture. Let's see what the chat's up to. Okay, well. Hmm. Oh, good. Not looking at the game. My favorite part. <laughs> Worst fake 90s TV since Fox Hunt? I think you haven't seen Fox Hunt in a while. I watched Super Great Friends playthrough of that recently, and oh my god. He had the exact perfect reaction, which is just to, like, barely acknowledge that it's happening. You kind of dissociate during Fox Hunt a lot. Wow. Barely squeak that one out. Last second. That puzzle did suck. I it looked disgusting. Very impressive. You still control the cyber die. Forgot it's called the cyber nice die. Nice job. The bonus square. Uh. Um. I've been over backwards, forwards, and back again. I want your business. Come on down to Warmington. I'm, I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> You're still up. Do I? Oh my god, we've only only 30 minutes of this. <laughs> Marilyn Manson Put used your cards. Cap, kids. <laughs> it's challenge time. Major Steel, take the controller and secretly select the... Now, I've secretly Warmington, selected. Take the controller and select a column from the Matrix. Twin Peaks, use the cursor pad and the A button to match... Oh, I get to watch Twin Peaks? Pictures. Cool. That'll be a nice breath of fresh air. Oh. Wow, this sure is twisted. We have lips. We have clocks. We have the sun. We have the 3D Oh. <laughs> well, you did it. Yes, doors are very faint. The, the famous doors of Twin Peaks. Mm -hmm. Warmington, you're still up. I'm gonna catch up to you. Why are you making this close? You've got the because challenge. it's funny. <laughs> Every, everyone is suffering because of this. Major Steel, take the controller and secret. Now, Warmington, take the controller and select a column from the Matrix. Uh... Departure Lounge. Use the cursor pad and the A button to recreate the picture. Yeah, the trivia is way harder. It's like the the adult setting is for trivia, but the actual mini games they just think you don't know how to play games. I hate. Oh, it's an elephant. That's eye. that's an elephant. Let me point that out for anyone evaluating this stream. That's clearly an elephant. He gets to the end and another tower appears. <laughs> Stop it. It's twisted loop two. This time you take double damage. Okay, this one is real hard. I don't like it. Yeah, this is unfair. Yeah, I'm not doing this one. This, this, this. I, I only missed one? You were close. Mm. I'm fine. I'm crying. Are you crying? Yeah. I think that's fair. You've hit the challenge square. Wormington, take the controller and secretly select a row from the Matrix. Dr. Wormington, please push a button. Of course, of course. Now, Major Steel, take the controller and select a cup. Mystery matinee. Use the cursor pad and the A button to unscramble the movie before time runs out. I'm good at good this luck, one. Good luck. This is an easy slide puzzle. They let you pick up pieces. Like, see. See, if real slide puzzles were like this, I might like them more. Yeah, if you mean if they were easy. Yeah. <laughs> they, they were fun. Oops. There we go. What movie is that? Um, that is uh, the film noir classic. The Maltese Fucker. <laughs> You're still up. That was, that was a collaborative you joke. You gotta give me like a second to think of something funny. I'm sorry, I'm just so manic. It's this game. It's doing it, it to me. I'm turning into a 90s kid. Now, Major Steel, take the departure lounge. Use the Good luck. Pad and the a Good luck for the nasty thing. The 
Smebble, I hate to... S Smebble, I can, I can say for a fact they did have those things back then. <laughs> they were called Tijuana Bibles. Oh, look at that. What a roll. Oh my god, I'm so mad. This is, it's like... Also, this is pretty. I want to live is. in the Rose Galaxy. Uh. Um. Uh. Uh. Oh, that's it. Okay, yeah, oh you gotta get along the side. Ooh, there you go. That was okay. close. Sorry, so, I, sorry, I shouldn't be giving you hints. Uh. We're all in this together. Mm-hmm. Well done. Keep going. Think, think, think. The challenge square. It looks like the end is in sight. We may be approaching an ending. The controller and secretly select a row from the Please. Now, Major Steel, take the controller and select a column from the We're here forever. What would Alex pick? Mystery matinee. You're right. I did pick that pad and the A button to unscramble the movie before time runs out. Okay, name this movie. Whoever gets it right. Uh, you don't get anything. Dancing Fools. Uh, Dance of the Dead. Um, I Accuse My Parents. Um, oh, good guess. Reefer Madness. <laughs> Thinking of all the public domain movies with Dancing. Dancing Fuckers. Yes, that's it. La La Land. Yes, yes. These are all good. I don't think I got this. This isn't looking good. Oh, no, they're all Oh, they're the all place. fucked up. Oh, the Dancing Fuckers. Yes, Footloose 1925. <laughs> she speaks. Come on down. Oh, too bad. The Bozo Square. Good roll, bad square. You must be a <sighs> I was going to say, thank God it's not the torture wheel. Do not put me on the torture wheel. Let's see. Fred Astaire's Battle Royale, yeah, Dances Chapman. with Wolf, Dancing with Wolves. Yes, all good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wormington, take the controller and now Major Steel, take Zapper. Use the cursor pad and the A button to zap the commercials and stop. Thank the you all view. so much for having stuck with 38 <laughs> minutes of this torture game. So I think there was a difficulty bump based on the last game I had because it was uh, it had more pieces to work with. I get the feeling we're approaching the end game, so it's starting to ramp up. I don't think it's fair that the game gets harder. I think the game should be very easy, and I shouldn't have to deal with it. Thank you. It works your brain and your thumbs. I don't want to work anything. Remember Zoop? Yes. Remember Zool? I do. Remember Zoom? All very 90s things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Major Steel, you're still up. Oh, it's so close. I can taste it. The Challenge Square. Wormington, take the controller and secretly select a row from the... Now, Major Steel, take the controller and select... Sound bites. Use the cursor pad and the A button to match identical sounds. My very favorite game. You love it. Yes! Sound bites! <laughs> hey, I do appreciate our president screeching into my ear. I do. Are these all squirrel sounds? That could be a squirrel sound. A fucked up squirrel. If you think about it, aren't all, uh, isn't every single American president just a fucked up squirrel? I think that's a major scandal, Alex. <laughs> Good job, Major Steele. You go again. Oh, you don't trust in fucked up squirrels to run the nation? Congratulations. What's your problem? You're going to the bonus square. At ease, soldier. It's impossible for me to be at ease right now. None, none of us can be at ease. I'm the most tense, twisted person on the, on the planet. You're so Think twisted. Fast. You're on the challenge square. Now, Major Steel, take the control. Twin Peaks. Use the cursor pad I called and your the bluff. button to match identical pictures. Thank you. Have you been noticing my secret? You're just picking randomly. I'm almost always picking A. Look at these animals. Oh, those eye kitty. Rat! 
this game is good now. This game is great. This yeah, game is really good. We finally dug in and found the rat content. All right, we got rats, we got cats, we got ducks. Okay. All right, this is good. Is that a snake? Is that a gremlin? I can't tell. It's good, though. This is good. Game is good. I think good I'm going to run away with this. Please stop ringing. Yeah! Major Steel. Yours still For up. as loud as that may appear on stream, it's even louder in my ear right now that whenever was that happens. Baby Yoda, yes. on the bonus square. I'm one square away. Do that again for your dog meat. I don't think I can lose at this well point. Done. Keep going. This is it. All I have to do is roll a one. We have ourselves a winner, the biggest winner we've had here on Twisted. Yep, I did it. I'm cool. It's me. The big winner of the 3DO game. I congratulate Danny on his excellent play. I escaped. Live from the palindrome, it's time to get twisted with your host, Twink Fisdale. You're the jellical cat, Danny. That's right. That's right. You got you got you you get to ascend to heaven. That's Twisted, the game show, one of the landmark biggest, best, most well-remembered 3DO games of all time. What do we think? I I I will not lie. I do like the 90s attitude a little bit. I like I have a soft spot for for the 90s use, the ironic use of uh, old 50 stock footage. I mm -hmm. love that. Yeah. I, I like that the game hates you a little bit. I always kind of have a soft a little spot bit. for that. Uh, yeah, just a little. Um, thank you, Tepid Snake, for the 100 bits. Uh, 100 bits to celebrate the sweet sound of silence. Yes. <laughs> we did it. But but also, the edgy stuff just wasn't as funny, like, or just, it just, there's some parts of it were just real, like the Fez Tez joke would have that it didn't even, that it wasn't as joke it wasn't as edgy as i was dreading but then again that may be down to our character choice if we chose poorly we may have uh we may have been banned from stream yeah okay apparently ed bogus yeah ed bogus worked on this what the fuck are you shitting me i know that name yeah he's a, mus a very famous musician musician wow wow all 200 facelift faces okay so they got a a batch of uh, stock photos much like our CDI favorite third degree. Thanks they... for being with us. Tune in next time for Two Twisted. This has been Ray Stewart speaking. You think there's going to be a next time? That seems pretty optimistic to me. <laughs> <laughs> then again, if you spent $700 on a 3DO and 60 bucks on this game, you'd probably want to play it at least twice. Maybe get together uh, three of your friends, get four Daisy Chain 3DO controllers, <laughs> sit together on the couch. And just gradually start punching each other as you get towards the end of this game. <laughs> hey, hey, we're not divorced yet, and we've played this game multiple times on stream, so mm -hmm. I, I'm just saying. <clears throat> yeah, we did showcase this before, but this time around, we played through the whole thing, and now we never have to do it again. Twisted. The game show. Code man? Code man. My buddy. Are, are you fucking with me? Did Ed Bogus <laughs> really work on Garfield and Friends? I am about to go and I'm a I'm I'm okay. Thank you to Cantrip uh, very much for the six month resub. Cantrip seven says based on the out of body experiences of Audrey Eisenstein. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I guess it did say that. Thank you. Next up, how about something totally random? How about something Japanese that never got released here in the states? How about Theater Wars? Theater Wars, huh? How do you spell? How's theater spelled? E R or R E? It's theatre, so R E. Ugh. No offense. Yeah, it's fancy. Yeah, I. <laughs> yeah, he did Fritz. The, Ed Bogus did Fritz the Cat and Garfield. Wow, a oh, white. <laughs> they love sassy cats. The entire spectrum of sassy cats. Don't show your kids one of those. By that I mean Garfield. <laughs> Yeah, with Garfield, they'll they'll drag people out and shoot them in the middle of this road or whatever. <laughs> Should be drug out into the street and shot. Thank you. Is Sorry. How it goes. Sorry. I mean, you could. I think Fritz is. There's there's different many ways to say sassy. Okay. Assy. He is very assy. Hamlet. I've I've never heard of this game. So. 
Yeah, I, 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 I do like the gay Satan from the Fritz sequel, but that's a bad movie. Okay, moving on. It was a Fritz Fred sequel? Award. Yeah, it's not by Bakshi, and it's not good. Oh, you can put your controller down. Oh, thank goodness. Good sure? work, Alex. Are you sure you don't want me to play Theatra War? Thank, thank you for surviving an entire game of Twisted with I me. That's fine. It's the year 2050. Mm-hmm. And there are many kanji I don't know the meanings of. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is way too quiet. Let's, let's... There we go. Uh, folks... Uh... You gotta be a producer for a show. Uh, it's something about survival? Okay. So That's all I got from on, that. We're working on Survivor, then. Ooh. It's... Imagine, a theater. Oh, it's not styrofoam. A I theater like... of the mind. Uh, let me know how the audio quality is here, uh, folks, if it needs to be louder or quieter. This is a fun one. I know nothing about this. All I know is the title and the fact that it was multimedia, apparently. So that makes it perfect for this show. Hey, I'm learning too much about Ed Bogus, and I need to... I, I need to order a pack of cigarettes because I, I can't believe this. <laughs> You're so upset you have to smoke. Action 52 uh, plagiarized some of his music, Ed Bogus's music. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or... Like the, wasn't it the title screen music from Cheetah Men, I think? I don't remember. Okay, he didn't, no, he didn't compose to... the actual Cheetah Men theme. Yeah, yeah. I need to, I wish. Okay. I Look need at to this focus. beautiful pre rendering. All those circus people standing atop an elephant. So is there going to be a war war or how's this go? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the future. I want to go there. Well, it's 2050, so we'll be there in a few years. Oh, Game Center. Let's go to the Game Center. What kind of games they got in 2050? Oh, we don't get to see. I see how it is. A house. <laughs> it is a house. I love that wide robot. Mm-hmm. Taking the wide stance. Robot, robot's got the hips of a Second Life avatar. I love it. Uh, yeah, this seems to be in order. Oh, yeah, you got it. Hey, how come a lot of really weird and interesting stuff came out for the, three, uh, the 3DO in Japan? There are so many exclusive 3DO games in Japan, including multimedia games. I actually made a list. Uh, I started to. I just went down the whole list of games, and I ended up with something like 50 multimedia discs that are straight from Japan. So we have plenty of content to work with, is what I'm trying to say. Show biji nesu. We're in show business. Mm. And he, this robot's got advice for us. We're the producer. It's December 23rd, 2050. Signed, Dad. <laughs> this is Dad, I guess. Why, our dad is a, is a robot? Yeah, I'm digging this. Circus Groove mm -hmm. is the genre. Can I touch the crystal? No, I guess not. So we're the producer of this theater. We get to call the shots from our control room. <laughs> okay. I cool. love the giant cross. That is so... It's more like an onk, but without the yeah. without the rounded top. It's like an onk cross. I like this guy. I'm just glad to not be screamed at constantly. Oh, you don't like hearing a... <laughs> you landed on the challenge square! Fuck you! We got dancers. Mm -hmm. It's a dancing show. Okay. I hope this is an FMV game. Well, all we've seen so far is nothing but FMV. Well, pre-rendered. Not okay. real people. Well, the answer is... I want to I get to the game. Get me to the game. 
Oh, we can set up backgrounds. This is reminding me a lot of Virtual Puppet Breaker, which this, is a good sign. This is such. This is this is a, such a multimedia Monday game. Thank you for choosing this. Mm -hmm. I didn't even evaluate it. I was just like, well, that sounds like multimedia. Guess what? It was. Uh, chat says, March, March, keep on marching. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I. I wish to hell we had never unleashed that game on you poor people. We, you now share our curse. Oh, okay, okay. So here's some info about why there were so many more uh, games on the 3DO in Japan. Um, okay. For software licenses, uh, 3DO charged a $3 fee for each CD produced compared to $15 to $20 for Nintendo and Sega. Oh, oh so you could just make pretty much anything and you would turn a profit. It depends on how many you sell, but... Mm -hmm. With okay. those margins, it's looking pretty good. And look at these margins. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the stonks are going up. That's what you like to see mm -hmm. in your bar charts. I, yeah. Line charts, sorry. I, what is it? It indicates, uh... Oh, we have to worry about finances? There's a lot going on here. Dancers cost 42 million yen? <laughs> are you shitting me? Are these yeah. dancers made of solid gold? Are they solid gold dancers? <laughs> yeah, they melt under the stage lights. Well, let's oh get let's get to work. Hopefully we have a very large bankroll to work with. Last show. Sayonara. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wish Trop was here to see this shit. Oh my god. Yeah, this is definitely a trough of luxury joint. Why are we here now? I thought we were at the good theater. Did we already fail? Trace, yeah, this is like a Yakuza mini game. We are not gonna see <laughs> Juan, delighted to see you as always. We are not doing any Elmo and Grover today that I am aware of. We don't know for sure that Elmo and Grover aren't in this. They might show up. We don't know. We had all the presidents show up in the previous game, so it's anyone's, uh, <laughs> who knows? Who knows? I've been to theaters like this, where there's no one else there. So this is like, this entire game just feels like a big liminal space. This is... I saw Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind in an empty student theater. It oh, was It was incredibly theater. lonely. I was going to ask if you saw it at the Dobie, but... It was the Dobie. Okay, okay, so it was the Dobie. <laughs> oh, wow. Much to think about, all alone. <laughs> we saw some things at the Dobie before it closed, I think. Oh, yeah, we saw a bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's where we saw Borat. And Seven Samurai. Okay. Oh, wait, you didn't see that. No, you saw that on that your own. That was just me. Yeah, sorry. But I do remember seeing Borat there. And I remember that theater because you could get tea at that theater. And I was like, oh my god, is this the future? What is this? What? Excuse That is the future. You need that in your show pronto. You. That is like... <laughs> Many good faces. If only there was a place where you could see such a thing. <laughs> they keep talking about Otosan, who is who is dad. I'm still not clear exactly who dad is. We're gonna go to Bulblis. Honestly, a Borat Seven Samurai double feature would be mind blowing. They should edit him into the old movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he should be one of the samurai. Oh, is this guy Tanaka? I'm getting a few things from this. I, I, uh, let's, Chaz asking if this is a mansion game. I am getting mansion game vibes. So far, I'm... it's been nothing but going down hallways with CG graphics, so it fits our criteria. We have a mere hundred, uh, what is that? Hundred million yen? Mm hmm. So you can afford those dancers. But I want you to get that giant glowing thing in the background. I really like that. Is that is that was that like a really was that a high priced or a low priced ballerina? I don't know. I would pay a lot to see that, but maybe in the future that's that's way more commonplace than like the human ballerinas, which is why they cost so much. Okay, it lets you push up and down, and it even mm -hmm. reflects that in the control lever, but it doesn't actually do anything. Oh, that's a shame. Let's hire some dancers. <laughs> cool. Okay, that's pretty cool. What else we got? Oh, 
Oh, wow. These are the expensive dancers. They're dabbing. I like it. We can just get a clown. I like the clown. I want a clown. Oh, oh, Karnov. We can get Karnov. We can get a character from Balls 3D. I like that. That's the future. <laughs> I like that other clown. They oh, got we got Alice in Wonderland. S3D, They're together as, yeah. as a set. Mm -hmm. Three sumo wrestlers for 150 million yen? Mm. That might be a pretty good deal. Can we mix, can we mix and match is what I'm wondering. Uh, let's start off with Pagliacci. <laughs> yeah, Corey, you real Roland 808 vibes with the music here. <laughs> <laughs> Tokyo Sports Club. Or Kyoto Sports Club. I get those kanji mixed up. Uh, yeah, sure. You're in. Welcome to the theater. There's so many good characters in this game. I know. These faces. Now, my objective here is to put on at least one play before I bankrupt myself. I think we should spend a lot on the background. I agree. Because no one's going to be looking at this fucking Oh, my plan. God. These are nightmares. King of comedy. <laughs> yes. Yep. There, there it is. <laughs> the original king of comedy. Oh, this is good. Oh, he's smiling. He's got to like it, right? I think we're on the right track. What do we got here? We dealing with curtains? We dealing with... Oh, we need some cactus. <laughs> this show is so good. Oh, no, this looks like a good fit for our clown friend. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Are we Joker? Yes, this is the Joker. That's the Joker on the stairs, yes. I think this is our background music. Anti-noise laws, my favorite track. Good. It's in. Anti-noise laws? Oh, here's a preview. Hey, down in front. <laughs> oh, we got one of them flexible clowns. <laughs> and his stair friend. This is the theater production of my dreams. <laughs> See, Alex is laughing. This is the king of comedy. Oh, thank you. See, aren't you glad y'all stuck around with us after, uh... <laughs> if nothing after else, if nothing <laughs> else, if nothing else happens during today's stream, at least we have this. Anti-Noise Laws is such a good name for this song. Oh, my God. Ta-da. <laughs> oh, he's still going. <laughs> wow, you that was a 540 McTwist. for them, but I love the Joker stairs in the back. I didn't even realize that the was the Joker was stairs. yelling. Did you hear that? Yeah, they love it. They love me. No way. They love us. Ah, <laughs> oh, the reviews are in. <laughs> Uh, I think the yellow bars are the ratings and the blue are ticket sales. Uh, so, so, so good, good, good effort, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Beatitude for Gains for the 13th month resub. They say all that buildup was worth it for this. Yep. Yeah. I'm glad you I'm agree. Crying. Thank you. That play just lost us 962,680 yen. Worth it. That was an expensive lesson to learn. Well, the revenue for ticket sales was eight seventy four. The Lynchian tour de force, says the critics. So the dancer we hired <laughs> accounted for the majority of our profits, and then everything else just ate into it. <laughs> Art is I'm most sure you're... exciting show. I'm sure you're laughing because that was the best show you've ever seen in your life, right? Yes, that's why. You're you're so the moved you don't know how to react. So good. All right, so I guess this is the uh, the flow of the game. It says stage two here. So each play you put on is its own individual stage, and you have to turn a profit based on ticket sales uh, mixed with what your costs are. 
for being so heavily Japanese, it's actually pretty straightforward. I appreciate that. Uh, you think we can turn this around with our next show? Uh, yeah, I think, but, but I think that our show is just not appreciated. We just have to find our audience. Yeah, y'all aren't ready for this yet, but your kids are going to love it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Your kids are going to be influenced by this so much. Kids just going apeshit for shitty clowns. <laughs> Our king of comedy. The future on TikTok is doing backflips in front of a, a sign that says king of comedy. Well, the king of comedy was a flop. We're not going to hire them again. Uh, who should we hire this time, though, with a budget of 500 million yen? Oh, I love them. I love I love that clap. Maybe we should get... Oh, man, I kind of love them. You want to try the Alice in Wonderland bit? <laughs> yes. People like Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Children's con company. Oh, it's a children's company theater kind of thing. Wait, these, these kids are real expensive. Yeah, it's fine. All right, you're in, kids. Which background do we want for him? Hopefully they got something appropriate. Not King of Comedy. That's a shame. King of Comedy was good. This could... That, that one could fit. Could get old Fujiyama. Mm-hmm. A real cheap background. Whatever the fuck this is that costs billions of dollars. No, I think I've made my decision. Ugh. Changed my mind. It's this one. Oh, that nightmare one. Yeah, there it is. Oh, that's awful. I really want to hire... I really want to rehire Joaquin Phoenix here, but I think we should mix things up. <laughs> yes, Arnold, and we are making adventures in Wonderland. <laughs> ooh, watch ooh, that? Oh, ooh, there it is. That's there perfect. it is. This this fits the theme perfectly. Okay. Kids will love it. Now you need a good song. Remember, anti noise laws really didn't pull it last time. I don't know. I was a fan. I mean, it's a good name for a, that kind of song. Thank you so much to Kate Lipsy for the 16-month resub. Kate Lipsy says, this is exactly the content I need for Monday afternoon. Welcome. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. I'm losing it. So this is Waltz. This is Hawaiian sound. I love it. This is so shitty sounding. You know, to really make your mark on theater, you got to put your own personal spin on it. Mm -hmm. I think this is it. This is how I assert my... Uh, my theatrical expression. You're a brave, brave producer. I'm proud. Let's see it. Here it goes. Everybody, make sure to rate five. Uh, your comments cards, please be very nice to me. I'm mm -hmm. sensitive. Remember, if you say something mean about this, we take away your press pass. Look at the rabbit! <laughs> Rabbit's doing the running man. <laughs> that wasn't part of my direction, but that was a happy accident. So I decided to just say, you know what, Rabbit, you keep doing the running man through the entire production. Night after night, 90 minutes a day, five days a week, you're going to do the running man. Uh, free star, everything we do is a race to the bottom. You'd be surprised at how quickly we hit it, too. <laughs> you know, if this one isn't isn't a success, I think we should just go with the most expensive stuff for the I, next one. I agree. Let's bankrupt the Cedar Company. If, if they can appreciate us, no one get, can have us. Shoot for the moon, they say. Because, why not? <laughs> oh, I really do like King of Com- I'm sorry, the King of Com- I'm going to be thinking about King, King of Comedy for a while. <laughs> That was accidentally a masterpiece, and no one, no one realized it. I was born 50 years too early for people to get my genius. Did you, did you hear the polite applause? They liked this that's, one. It, that's better than booing. Hey, look at that. The critics love it. Oh my the God. The ticket sales are fucking amazing. Hey, hey, honey. You Holy crap. I latched on to the cultural zeitgeist <laughs> by pushing the C button. By making the most boring play imaginable. Yep. When you made something interesting, they're like, no, thank you. We we brought in five million from ticket sales. And we so turned stupid. a profit of two point four million. Although to be fair, children's cedar usually makes a lot of money because they're like, ah oh, shit, what do I do with my kids today? Oh, looks like there's children's cedar. Of course that was back when you could go to children's cedar, but here comes the critical praise. Everybody love me. 
I'm the best stage play guy. I am sad about King of Comedy being just underappreciated. Maybe That's... we should re-release it now that I'm famous. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are you doing for this one? This one, we're, we're going all out. I got a big head from my last success. My sophomore effort, I'm calling mm -hmm. it. So I'm just gonna do maximum spend on everything. What are the most expensive dancers you got? These folks? I would love to rehire Sad Clown, but he kind of takes the wind out of I like the everybody. other clown. Are we going with sumo wrestlers or uh, I guess Hawaiian dancers? I like the sumo. We, we had some recommendations for the sumo wrestlers in chat. So. Hell, let's do it. Oh, there's so many of them. We get, there's, they throw in two free if you buy three. <laughs> That's a, that's, 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 that's a good, that's, that's a good deal. I love that this is our set master. Okay, Tough Ghost, actually, legit. Okay, so when I was doing community theater as a, uh, as, 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 as a kid and stuff, the theater company that I was in literally did that. They did a lot of children's theater just to get in the money and the ticket sale, the ticket money, sale ticket, the ticket sale money from that and Christmas Carol and they would use that to make like to fund the rest of the plays that barely anyone would see that were really weird mm. so it was a way to fund uh seriously you want to fund your theater just put on a any kind of Christmas production in the winter and you will be like packed audience every night people love that shit damn I would love to have this but it's not within our budget hey oh my god but we can afford some cacti what's with the background I love it it's extremely expensive so it has to be good Oh, man, we're maxing our budget this time around. I think we're going to have just enough for a proper soundtrack. We did Hawaiian sound. That did okay. We can do a waltz. We can do sweeping drum. Primitive techno. <laughs> Uzi, that's my experience circus. as well. It's just called circus music. Okay, I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Chat wants primitive techno. I want it too. What's it sound like? Primitive techno. Let's have a listen. This yes. is perfect. Yes. This fits my vision. Yes. Let's yes. do this. This is absolutely yes. Oh yes. my god. We we spent 489 million of our 500 million yen budget. I'm I'm going all out. I bought the most expensive cacti, the most expensive background, the most exotic sumo dancers that yen coins can buy. And, and yes, Uzi, like, that is also why Children's Theater has ticket sales. It's because you have, like, all the families would go to see their kids. So you have to have, like, people from all these different families in it. Here we go, my magnum opus. All right. Yes! <laughs> this is going to be the Hamilton of the 22nd century. Oh, my God. I'm entirely happy with how this turned out. Sometimes you gotta make concessions, sometimes you have to sacrifice your vision, but this time around, not this time. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is an avant-garde Lynchian tour de force. <laughs> I don't... I, can, I can't Oh, breathe. we got polite applause. I'm having problems breathing, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think you're ready for the world of theater, Alex. No, I'm not. I say as the only person here with actual theater experience. Oh my God, we bombed. We fucking <laughs> bombed. No way, that was great. Um, We fell through the stage. Um, Could the stage not support five sumo wrestlers? I mean, I raised that as a safety issue. No one seemed to think it was a problem. But I guess it was a problem. Holy crap. Who can I blame this on? The cactus. Probably the cactus, yeah. If only we got better cactuses. I wanted them to be 2,000 feet high, not a mere 10 feet high. I... <laughs> this might be the end. This could be the end of theater. Oh, my God. <laughs> you lost all the money you made. Oh, my God. Kevin Snake's got a review of the show for us. Danny Cowan's latest, The Sumo Squats and the Sunsets, eschews the populist themes of the maestro's previous works. But does vision trump ticket sales? Only time will tell. 
Well, time plays, is told. Plays and Plays Magazine. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to get yelled at if I'm lucky. Mmm, it made front page news. All the people falling through the floorboards. Presumably dying as well. That is really funny. I'm sorry. Uh-oh, you get a call. Well, oh, from, Jesus Christ. From that guy. We are now... <laughs> we're almost 10,000 yen in the red. It's fine. Maybe That may be 10 million. It's fine. It's fine. Are, are you sure? I mean, you're right. Chat says all publicity is good publicity. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's uh -oh. what I'm saying. I don't like As this. they send truckers by to break my legs. It's... Are you doing theater in a in a truck stop parking lot now? Yeah. Oh, the theater is a parking lot now, I think. Wow. Yeah, that's what happened. Oh my god. Hey, did you know that one of the old theaters I used to do theater in as a kid also got turned into a parking lot? <laughs> wow. Yeah, it was an old train depot. Rip. That's, that's theater wars. I experienced a brief amount of time at the top with my brilliant depiction of Alice in Wonderland, and then I let fame get to my head, and the script I'd been writing for the last 30 years involving dancing sumo wrestlers, it did not resonate with audiences like I thought it would. I'm sorry. Now, it says here you can start again from the beginning, but I'm just too ashamed. I'm going to go back to my day job. Okay. That was... Back to video game journalism for me. Oh, yeah. Much less embarrassing. That was a really <laughs> Alex... funny, funny, funny set of, of shows, Danny. Maybe I should play every 3DO game, <laughs> considering this was such a nice surprise. I love this. That was super good. <laughs> yeah, it was really was easy fun. to get into. You could, you could very easily make your own stage play, even if you don't know what's going on. They just let you waste all the money, and that's what I appreciate. That's what I appreciate the most about Theater Wars. Check it out if you have a 3DO. I will. How much time we got here? You got, we got plenty of time. We do, don't we? We have a lot of time. Well. That's right, Danny's plays are a psychosexual tour de force. <laughs> That's not how I would have described it, but sure. I got another game in mind. Something for 3DO. Okay. Something people have heard of. We're going back to the U.S. side. Uh, we managed to see a Japanese exclusive that blew our socks off, and hopefully our next game will do the same. No idea what this is, folks. I'll find out in a sec. No, no. It's a new year. But that doesn't mean we have to play exclusively new games. There's plenty of stuff in games that we've previously played that we have not seen. If we're going to plumb the depths of the 3DO's library, we have to explore these games to their fullest. What? What's everyone worried about? What, what do you think is going to happen? What's with all the band dance? Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't think I noticed this cool rock music before. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to let my hair grow out. I'm starting to look a little bit like Dennis Miller. <laughs> Let's start her up. So, it's January of a new year. So why don't we start in January of whatever year this is. 1993, 94. Alex, if you'll do me a favor, please pick a topic. Will it be politics? No. Will it be showbiz? Sports, world news, or politics? We want sports. Please, God, sports. Sports, you got it. Tell me the best sports jokes you got, Dennis. And away we go. The Buffalo Bills should just never, ever go to the Super Bowl again. You know, these guys get eaten up like smuggled nachos at the Pritikin Clinic. Next. 
The Super Bowl has traditionally been as one-sided as the week they let Stephen Hawking on Celebrity Jeopardy. All right. Next. Wow, look at that. <laughs> look at that graphic. I like that. I don't know if I want to hear what this joke is, but Alex picks sports, so oh, man. this is all his fault. Looks like big-time sports cheating may have finally tainted the famed Iditarod sled dog race up in Alaska. Perennial contender Susan Butcher is being investigated for feeding her dogs Cycle 6, the badass years. What? So, uh, someone has to write a paper on what that joke means. What? What? Iron Mike. What? Uh, Mike Ditka. Insulting, profane, flush-faced, and physically abusive. Oh, God, how Chicago loved him. But the Bears fired him this month after watching his team steadily slide after their 1986 Super Bowl victory. It's reported, however, that an impressive stockpile of jokes about Ditka's grotesquely oversized melon of a head will continue to be passed quietly in Chicago's humor underground, so long as Iron Mike stalks the earth. Dennis Miller, he knows what the humor underground is all about here on the 3DO. <laughs> five, five, like a paragraph to say that Mike Ditka has a funny head. He got a big head. That's it. That was such a limp ending. I really don't want to. You want to do showbiz? Let's do showbiz it's and gonna then we'll be move bad. on. I'm just going to. This is January. Now transport your, yourself back in time. A lot of people don't remember the 90s. 1990 is more than 30 years old. The human brain cannot remember things that are more than 30 years old. Soon, all these events will be forgotten, and all we'll have are these these terrible jokes about things that happened that didn't affect anybody, like Harry Connick Jr. The man who would be Sinatra, Harry Connick Jr., was arrested at New York's Kennedy Airport for trying to bring a 9mm pistol through security. Wow! Unconfirmed wow. reports say he was traveling under the name The Manchurian Candidate. That's... It's a relatively highbrow joke. But that's not that funny. Yeah, that, that that's doesn't, the problem. That doesn't work. I, I know Who likes I know Deep Space references. Nine? Okay. Deep Space Nine premiered this month in national syndication. Star Trek fans are optimistic about the show's success, despite the previous cancellations of Deep Space 1 through 8. Okay, that's that's a retro pals caliber joke. You can't just... That's, you're a yeah. professional comedian, buddy. A professional comedian on Saturday Night Live 30 years ago, but it's, still. It's a show about a space mall. You couldn't make a joke about a bunch of fucking nerds? Like, come on, I love Deep Space Nine, but there's a slam dunk joke about nerds here. <laughs> wow, that takes me back. <laughs> Welcome it. back. Fuck it, go for it. The movie Boxing Helena premiered at the Sundance Film Festival in Park City, Utah. Controversial film is about a man who cuts off a woman's arms and legs and sticks her in a box. Alternate titles for the film were thought to be Sleeveless in Seattle and An Affair to Dismember. Hey, I'll give it to him. That was a joke. You gotta hand it to him. I don't know what it is, but... I'm I'm handing it to him. That was it. That was an actual joke. So congrats for the first joke that we've seen him do. Everybody, round of applause. And finally, Guns and Roses. Uh oh. Izzy Stradlin this month kicked out of Guns and Roses. What do you have to do to get kicked out of Guns and Roses? Hey Slash, you want to quit shooting heroin into your forehead? We're gonna vote on Izzy over here. Forgot to return one of Axel's casserole dishes from that Satan party the other night. Satan party. Satan party? I laughed in spite of myself. That's fair. You know, before our viewership starts dropping even more, I should probably shut this off. Yeah. <laughs> but that's yeah. Dennis Miller. That's news to me. Uh, it's got jokes for every month of the year, so I always have an excuse to bring it back. That is a threat. Thank you, Danny. <laughs> that's why you didn't tell me what this was. Okay. I see what you did. I see how you torture me so. Let's go back to the Japan side. A lot of undiscovered oh. stuff here. A lot of things that you may not even realize was on 3DO, such as Royal Pro Wrestling. Boy, you hear about these wrestlers? I hear that's fake. That's the joke. Damn. So I think that was that was the first time we've heard him make an actual joke. 
And we didn't have to turn it off for being horribly offensive. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't. I specifically tried to not choose politics. Yeah, things could have been very different. Mm-hmm. Natsume. Oh shit! Natsume. Is this a real game, folks? We may have an actual video game. Alright folks, let me know if this is too loud or too quiet. Here at the Wrestle Dome, the WWA. Is that Ric Flair? <laughs> I I I don't know what this is this The is Tokyo this... Egg. Oh my god, did they rename the Tokyo Dome the Tokyo Egg? Danny? Yeah. When we get vaccined and if we can travel again. Yes, we can go to the Tokyo Egg. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> I have heard yes. I did that I know the Tokyo Dome yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, important to note the Tokyo Dome is sometimes called the big egg. I have heard about that. But... Oh, that makes sense then. So they're gonna call it the Tokyo Egg. I am I am Royal excited. Pro Wrestling. What I'm kind of wrestlers do you think we got in this? I, 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 apparently, it's a bunch of fake names, and they're amazing, so I'm really excited. Okay. We got uh, this thing with a lot of kanji. We got tournament. Mm -hmm. We got exhibition, mm -hmm. training, and an option mode. Please make it easy on me. Yeah. Do, do the... For, can I just... Okay, there we go. Easy. Game mode. Oh, I did not know that Big Egg Wrestling Universe existed. Just give me a minute here to process this. Thank this you. Is, this is game mode. Your choices are entertainment or cement battle. What does that mean in the context of wrestling, Alex? What's a cement battle? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to go with entertainment, because I want to be entertained. Okay, I assume... Ooh, there's Omake. Is it Summit Battle? <laughs> hey, this game whips. <laughs> this, this may be spoilers for the game, but I kind of don't care. Look at all this. The Good Faces account guy is just like, print screen, print screen, print screen. <laughs> This is amazing. Look at that one on the left. Wow. Okay, cement fight probably means more like an MMA fight. Okay, okay, mm, okay. okay. Thank you, chat. Wow. Oh my god. Maybe these are characters that were cut from the game? I'm just spitballing here. Maybe this was like from a contest to... I don't know. Could be. This is Pete That's Omake. just Karnov. That's, yeah, that's, that's just Karnov. Karnov. Come on. You can't rip off Karnov. A lot of people who can draw as well as I can, especially <laughs> on these pages. All your favorite wrestlers. Some taking up the whole page. Some being tiny. Some that's looking Goku. a little bit like Goku. That's Goku in a diaper. <laughs> Sorry. Hillstein. I like that name. I love Power Sun and Mr. Moon. Hey. <laughs> I wish this were real. This is great. How many pages of this are there? Not enough. Okay, this is just going on. This is kind of wonderful. I did. Yeah, yeah, Revenant. Mac tonight got fucking ripped. Don't fuck around with Mac tonight. Killer Earth is the name of the guy on the left. Or Killer Ass, if you want to misread the, the katakana. That's just, that's, that's Doraemon. I do think these were sent in by children. They ha they definitely were drawn, but a lot of these were definitely drawn by children for oh, sure. Oh no, it's, it's Dora Mask, I see. I love that. That's a good gimmick. Yeah, several games. I can think of a few Psycho shooters on Saturn. It had a fan mode where it would just show a bunch of fan art. 
are also collections on PC Engine as part of the uh, Ultra Box. That's what that series is. And 3DO follows in the grand tradition. Ku is the name of the guy on the right. I love it. It's just Ku. Storm Sky. I love that. <laughs> uh, oh, the guy oh, on the right looks so sad. sad. So either this is ramping up for the game just to be totally amazing, or this will be the best part of the game. Mm -hmm. Either way, oh, I'm a big fan of that art on the right. Yeah, she's great. I love him. Holy crap. Are these like uh, adoptables that artists put up? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, we've reached the end. That's it. Okay. 15,000 glorious pages of children's artist drawings of their favorite fake wrestlers. Now it's time to get to the real game. I'm afraid. How can you top that, though? So none of those, those are, those are all cut characters. None of them are in the game. So oh, okay. That's wonderful. I guess this is the story mode. Tag. Let's wrestle. Yeah, that. I just want to see what this is going to be like. Dun, dun. WWA, that's the American wrestling. There's mm -hmm. Jaw, Japanese wrestling. And I assume and then, MDLL is a CMLL parody, so that's probably Lucha. Yeah, it says um, Mexico okay. and Katakana. So you got uh, Puro, American style, and um, That's nice that it represents Lucha. all the different styles. Yeah, it is, because they are very different in the way that they're done, too. Let's start with... Uh, America, who they say is power style. Mm-hmm. That's true. They, it also says it's show pro resu. <laughs> uh, everyone rise for the national anthem. No. I'm not standing up. Well, that's enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, no one's standing? Sorry. I, I didn't know. I'll, I'll, I'll quit now. Oh, my God. Who do we have here? Okay, so we got... That is just Hulk Hogan. That, that is Folk Fulgen. Who's next? Okay, I'm, I'm reading the name here. The name is Golden Rips or Reaps. <laughs> Golden Rips. This is Andy Savage. All right. Okay. It's Andy Savage. This is Oyakata's uh, Kokina. Maybe, maybe Yokozuna. I don't know. Mm -hmm, probably. Mike Warrior. Oh, it's one of the Road Warriors. Okay. It's Mike Warrior. Mike Warrior. This is Johnny Warrior. Johnny Warrior. This is... Anyone want to... Anyone know Katakana want to verify that that says skank? <laughs> Am I misreading that? That looks like it says skank to me. A possible sting parody. <laughs> Is it skunk or skunk, chat? Skunk would be even better. Okay, it's skunk. Skunk. It's skunk. Okay. I'll accept that. Skunk is good. This is Big Van Blue Power. <laughs> wow. He just kind of gave up on that one. They, they petered out there, yeah. This is the Under Dice Mogan. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, I I wasn't even reading like their their ring names because they're all in 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 kanji. But this one said it's the Macho King Andy Savage. Mm. Uh, this one is Inteddy Gents Beasto. This is the Intelligence Beast Kong, the Godi Shu. What Go <laughs> Godi Shu? Uh huh. Kong Kong the Goddish. I'm just going to assume that's what that says. And finally, we have Rich Flair. That's fucking good. Okay, so Undertaker was called Under Dice Morgan, which is a combination of Undertaker and his uh, name in Japan when he was uh, there. Oh, interesting. Uh, WWF, which was Dice Morgan. And also, 
uh, Hogan was probably called Golden Lips because he played uh, Thunder Lips. In oh, one yeah, of those. That, yeah, that, yeah. Okay, yeah, Lips. That definitely says Lips. Oh, yeah, and the second to last guy uh, was Bruiser Brody. That definitely was Bruiser Brody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The name just escaped me. Thank you, thank you, Chad. Well, Alex, you're the expert. Who are we picking for our tag team? Um, I think we need to be Skunk. Right. And. Hmm. I like Tiny Arms Vader. Why not Vader? Why not Vader? Look at those little arms. Big Van Blue Power. He looks like he's like, he looks like an inflatable thing. There, they forgot to finish the arms or whatever. <laughs> His specialty is the choke slam. True. Oh, Hogan wrestled under the ring named Sterling Golden. Okay, I didn't know any of this. Thank you. So actually, these names are just references for hardcore wrestle fans. And some of it they just kind of make up. Let me ask you this. Who are the greatest tag team players? Which team has the best combination of power and teamwork? You know the answer. It's Rhino Warriors. It isn't our wish to destroy you, but we're destined to fight sooner or later. When we meet, we'll teach you a lesson no other team could. Oh. <laughs> wow. You're from the best wrestler. Oh. This is great. That sounded like a baby. <laughs> yeah, the first guy. That was totally trying not to wake up your mom talking. This is your mom. I'm recording for a Japanese wrestling game. People are gonna play this. And they're gonna think I'm cool. Huh. <laughs> it's a pretty stylized entrance. Mm-hmm. I like the uh, fake Mean Gene Oakland they had in there, even though he didn't talk. I want to hear more of the voice acting. Skunk. Big Bang. Bull Power. Big Bang Bull Power? Oh my god. Wow, I can't read Japanese for shit. <laughs> oh, big thank you. Big, big thank you uh, to uh, Jige for uh, the raid. Do appreciate it. We are playing Royal Pro Wrestling, which is amazing. Nice. Welcome, everybody. I think if you're a fan of uh, WWE circa 93 or 94, you'll find many characters you recognize, such as Skunk. <laughs> the Rhino Warriors. <laughs> the Rhino Warriors. Golden Lips, a.k.a. Hulk Hogan. Under Dice Morgan. Mm -hmm. This is a really incredible game, and I have just now started playing it. Not sure if this is Fire Pro style or... Oh, God. It ain't looking good. This is a button masher or a... Don't you... Go for the pin already! You insult me. Wait till Big Blue Power Man has to... Wait till you see what he has to say about this. <laughs> well, I wanted to tag him in. Wow, the crowd hates this. They like it more than that one play you put on earlier. <laughs> yeah, that is true that I moved from one kind of play to another. Mm -hmm. We played Theater Wars earlier, for those now just joining us. Theater Highly Wars recommend is... checking out that game. Yes. I fell out of the ring. It's okay. I'm just going to roll back home, I think. <laughs> Goodbye, skunk. Skunk, no, roll back! No, I don't think this game has rollback. Yeah. Oh, I found the drop kick button. But how do I pick up the things? Here we go. Let's bring this in the ring. Nope, don't do that. Just go back in the ring. You got get this. A, get in. Oh, fine. Body slam! It's a real slobber knocker. The fans are going wild. They're saying, oh. <laughs> they are mildly booing and discontent. No, no! Man, it can no, zoom no! in. That's pretty cool. I can really see the DDT. Can I just start punching this guy? Here I go. All right, go get his ass. Oh, oh. no, let's try. Oh my god. Kaiser, you're right. Those signs are blank. <laughs> oh yeah. Just like ah, we support you. We'll fill that in later. It's fine. 
I wish you could customize those so it could be like skunk stinks. Mm hmm. No, no skunk. No, no. no. What? Oh, there's too many men in the ring. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, what were they doing there? Just hanging out? Like, oh, sorry, sorry. We're at a standstill. I'm mashing. I don't know if that's doing anything. DDT! DDT! Oh, shit. Good one. You're just, you're just punching him. I kind of like that. Yeah. Get back up. Let me punch you some more. So I guess that's kind of a tug of war bar at the top. That, uh, I guess it judges your momentum. Mm. No, no! No traditional life bars here. Kind of forward thinking no, no. for early 90s. No, no! We both slammed into each other like no, idiots. No. It's fine. I, 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 love, I love him trying to get Vader back in. Stop it! Body slam! I think I'm doing good. All right, just, just all you gotta do is win. Not How does Fire game. Pro work? I think you just push the button at the clinch, something like that. Oh, they're hating it. The I crowd mean, hates the shit out of this. That was a pretty cheap move, let's be honest. But I'm skunk. Skunk's rolling. He's on the ground and rolling around. Like the skunk he is. And yeah, uh, trade on. I, I did see a clip of that. That's wow. Can't believe someone wanted to watch uh, Wirehead, but thanks. Oh yeah, yeah, the Vine Sauce clip. That was wild. That was that was surreal. It was weird hearing myself laughing like, oh shit, that is me. <laughs> My voice has changed. <laughs> That was a while ago. Yeah. I'm in the ring, but I'm still rolling. Okay. Can you roll? Can you just lay down and roll in the ring? Can you roll into people? That would be cool. <laughs> like you. Oh, they're picking you back up. Not fair. I don't know how long this match is going to be. The meter's feeling filling up though. It feels like we're building towards no, something. No, no. Tired of getting stomped on yet? Get their ass. I'm trying. You stop the slam. Oh my god. Oh, oh, Jesus. I've died. You think if I stop moving, they'll just like leave me alone? <laughs> Is that how it works? I think so. I think they're going to come to you and. Is uh... this kayfabe? <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Oh, I'm in pain. Oh, I say rolling around. <laughs> oh, won't someone help the skunkster? Skunkster. DDT! All I want to do is bring this chair in the ring, and I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, I don't know why the bar is doing that at the top. It, it kind of looks awful. Yeah, I don't like that. Hopefully that means the match is... Did you see what I just did? <laughs> No, I was looking at the bar. I got in the ring, started rolling around, and then I rolled right back out. <laughs> oh, bless you. DDT! Outside the ring, DDT. Hey, buddy. Have a seat. DDT! I said, have a seat. <laughs> Skunk's not looking so good. Skunk has seen better days. Skunk needs another nap. No, no! I'd feel ripped off if I paid for this match. No, no! This is the worst pay-per-view ever. I I don't know. This is pretty... This is, I like you just rolling on the floor. Hey, it's better than WrestleMania 9. <laughs> WrestleMania 9 did need more people just rolling around on the ground. <laughs> There you go, the one wrestling joke I know. <laughs> I think that's the only wrestling pay-per-view I've ever made you watch. Yeah. To be fair, it's the only one that's it's the only one worth watching if you're not a wrestling fan. 
they hate me. You know what? Feelings mutual. Getting out of here. Screw this. <laughs> count me out. We're done. I'm just going to roll at the south exit until you count me out and this farce of a match is over. Oh, look at you roll. Oh, they're rolling too. So this has mechanics. I just don't know what they are. I assume it's a mixture of mashing plus timing. Uh, they had a couple of fire pros out by this point, so that may have been the inspiration for this. Uh, if anyone missed it, the developer of this is actually Natsume, so there's some pedigree here. Natsume did make wrestling games before this. Just look at him wiggle! Ah, oh, you're wiggling. Ah, oh, you're with skunks wiggling, folks. Skunk wants out of his contract. And he got what he wanted. Big Blue Vader can only look on in disappointment at his pal Skunk. Ruining the sanctity of pro wrestling. Mike Warrior wins. Skunk loses. Rip Skunk. After a 24-minute match that mostly consisted of rolling around on the mat. Oh, they're so sad! I'm gonna get chewed out, aren't I? That's happening a lot this stream. It's being recommended that you check out exhibition mode so you can see the whole entire roster. Okay, let's do that. Okay. I got a gold star. For uh, good wrestling? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to graduate graduate wrestling kindergarten. No. Yeah, no. they're not going to let me move on until I beat the Rhino Warriors. Oh, you're going to have to reset then. I just love that his name is Skunk. That's so good. Skunk. I like when you thought it was Skank. I'm sorry. I really thought it was Skank. Which, entirely rude thing to call poor skunk. Yeah, we're resetting. Nice, nice. So, multiple modes here. We already saw the best one. The drawings of uh, fans of the game sent in. Mm -hmm. Exhibition, you say? Let's do it. There's probably going to be a lot of wrestlers I can't identify, so if you know who they are, shout them out. Yeah, chat, now's your time to shine. Now, we've seen all the the WWF-style wrestlers. Since we have some Raiders, I'll reintroduce them. This is Golden Lips, Hulk Hogan. This is Macho King, Andy Savage. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's Yokozuna. We got the Warriors, Mike and Johnny. Skunk. Mm -hmm. Big Van Blue Power, or Bull Power. Bull Power. Kong something. Brody, that's Bruce Brody, and that's Rich Flair. That's Rich Flair. Okay, we're moving on to the the Japanese roster. We got Dynamic Guy. I'm sorry, I'm not good at kanji. <laughs> this is a, a Dragon Man. A guy with a DDT. We have Great Budo. A Great Mudo, okay. We got Dr. Kill. Dr. Death, okay. Dr. Death. Dr. Kill is a really good name. That's really good. We have Mr. Boo. Okay, I know that guy. I know that guy. Do um, you? I think, oh, Abdullah the Butcher. Yes, that's Abdullah the Butcher. Ooh, ooh, okay. Another guy I can't identify. We got Jumbo the Tom. Jumbo the Tom. Okay, the previous guy was Misawa, I think. Okay. okay. And Jumbo. This is Texas Longhorn. <gasps> is that Terry Funk? I think that might be Terry yes. Funk. Yes. Or is that Hanson? And this guy, uh, the first word... That was word, Stan Hanson. Okay, sorry. The first word is big. I don't know what the second word is. Okay, one of those guys was uh, Jumbo Suruta, and uh, that guy is, giant ba is a parody of Giant Baba. Okay. Oh, cool. Man, we've actually been able to identify a lot of these. Good. Thanks, everybody. Okay, I, I, I think I can recognize one of the uh, luchadors there. Okay, we're moving on to the Mexican Wrestling League in this game. That's there's, just Santo. There's Santo... Karasu. That's so, Santo. So crow. Uh, little, little giants. Oh, the little giants. That's that's five mini league. That's Rob a... Dolphin. Is that Rob Rob Dolphin? Do you think that's supposed to be Rob Van Dam? Oh. Super Dolphin. Okay, thank you, Uzi. Yeah, I don't I don't know shit here. Another name I don't recognize. Super Dolphin. Okay. 
Tigre mask. Tiger mask. That's an easy one. Tigre. Tigre. Uh, black tiger mask. Okay, there you go. Kaiza Yama Yamada. Uh, no, no, sorry. <laughs> We've stumped Alex. Kid the Wolf. Uh, earlier was Jushin Liger, and this is uh, Jushin Liger. And this is Eddie Guerrero, really? Is that Eddie Guerrero? <laughs> <Is it> really? <laughs> cool. Jose in. Oh, no, that was Dynamite Kid. Okay, okay, cool. cool. Jose in Masquerade. Oh, I know who that is. Never mind. Okay, that's Kid. Yeah, that's Dynamite Kid. Okay. Aaron in Masquerade. And okay, this is a team. And is uh, Dos Caras. Well, we did it. We worked our way through all the wrestlers, and we figured out who some of them are. Okay, and Black Tiger was Eddie Guerrero. Okay, wow. What a roster. Especially for a game of this vintage. Who should we be? Um, Fake Terry Funk. Okay. I was Scott Hansen, I think, but... Stan Hansen, sorry. I don't expect to do any better in this match, but we'll at least get to see what they look like. Let's go to the Coliseum. Wish it could have been the egg, but I get it. We've been to the egg. We didn't do well. We're banned from the Tokyo egg. Honestly fair. Look at these drawings. Hey, these are great. <laughs> I like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tigle. Tigle mask. Uh-huh. Tigle mask. Cool. Who you got your money on? Honestly, uh, Texas Longhorn. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm hurting. He stumbled. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get much more out of this, but that's Royal Pro Wrestling for 3DO, featuring a whole bunch of fake wrestlers based on real people. That was fun, trying to figure that out. Just trying to figure out who they would put in the game versus who they would ignore. Of course, they had Hulk Hogan and Randy Savage, but also people from other leagues as well. They took this shit serious. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to sit here until we decide to all go home. That's how I wrestle. Hey, it works. What is a game that I can get 10 minutes of entertainment from? That I have in this pile here. I know just the game. I picked it. This is uh -oh. it. We're going to finish things off today with a true Japanese oddity. You're not going to believe this one. This is Alfred Hitchcock Presents. That's right, Alfred Hitchcock. Giving up directing. He's stepping into the wrestling ring. <laughs> on golden lips i like this because it could also be like alfred hitchcock presents i want alfred hitchcock's presents what's he gonna bring me i bet he gives good presents uh, i bet they're all great like movies and uh it's just killer birds <laughs> that's cool <laughs> that he gives everyone for christmas a little on the nose but who, who am i to judge who now i, I couldn't judge? believe this shit when i found it out and there's not much content here but i think it'll make a good stream closer I think the content that's available is very funny. It just starts like this. All right, chat, let me know if the audio is too loud or too quiet here. <laughs> I'm Alfred Hitchcock. This is my game. <laughs> wow, jazzy. I like this. Ooh. Wait, this is Que Sera Sera. It is. Are we going to get DMCA'd for Que Sera Sera? And I'm turning the audio back down. Let's go with the uh, two-minute game. Hey, I've completely forgotten. Brought to you by Toyota. <laughs> this is a promotional game, I think, that was handed out at Toyota dealerships in Japan. Hitchcock's Challenge. Yeah, sponsored. <laughs> yeah, I... Alfred Hitchcock presents Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> I wish. 
Well, this is the intro from the show, but with different music. They probably couldn't get the rights to, uh, what was it? Yo, koso minasan. What? Alfred Hitchcock desu. Kyo wa minasan ni aru chosen wo shite mi tai to omoimasu. Oh, yeah, naio wa jetsu ni kantan. ジュニマイのパネルをめくって絵を合わせる神経衰弱です。ただ今回は特別に時間制限がありますので、少しばかり慌てることがあるかもしれませんが、さあ準備はよろしいですかな？それでは始めましょうか。I... Starring Alfred Hitchcock. I... What confuses you about this, Alex? Honestly, Toyota. Oh. Well, it's a good thing we, bl we just played Twisted, because this is very similar, actually. The fact that there are enough 3DOs out there that this would be a giveaway that Toyota could do confuses me. I have many questions about this. Good. If anyone can answer them, uh, I haven't told you what my questions are, but it's all of them. We got pocket watch. We got a magnifying glass. Sick I des. Oh, we got one of them techos. Isn't it fucked up that correct and incorrect are so similar in Japanese? Yes. It's, it's uh, sekai des and fu sekai des. <laughs> it's just like one syllable. We have medicine. Alfred Hitchcock special medicine. <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock CBD oil. You know, I forgot how, just how similar this was to Twisted. It's actually pretty funny. Where'd the video? Oh, it looped. Did I just say where'd the video? Danny, you are being, uh, you are, you, Chad has to say, you need to also understand that correct and incorrect are English words that also sound exactly the, the, the same and are one syllable apart. Yes, well... Megane desu. Megane desu. Exactly. We did it. We have completed Alfred Hitchcock's challenge. Wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're just having a jazzy party with our old friend Alfred Hitchcock on the 3DO. We did it. We beat the game. What do you think? Is Toyota? Uh, is there? Is there more? Is is there more? There's a little bit more. Okay. There's also roulette mode. Oh, okay. You can just do this forever if you want to. Reset me, Alfred. <laughs> There's so little... Okay, I think we actually have to reset here. There's no car! This is a Toyota commercial, but there's no car. It's just, Where car? It's just bringing attention to Where the Toyota car? brand, so you can I enjoy did, it better. I did... I'm pretty sure everyone in, in Japan is aware of Toyota as a brand, for the most part. I. Well, I what guess... about 3DO owners who are fans of Alfred Hitchcock? I mean, fair enough. Spread the word. Roulette game. I forget what this one is. I mean, I guess it's like Chex's Quest in a way. Whoa, this music. Ooh, funky. That's actually Alfred Hitchcock on bass. This is so good. So, th th yeah, did you get this? At the, I wonder if you got this at the dealership. Was this a mail-in? Uh... And away we go. Show me glasses. Damn. That's it. That's the roulette game. This music. 
These are pretty hot jams. This is a really hot jam. Wanna try again? Yes. Try until you get until you get it. I gotta tell you a secret, Alex. Mm -hmm. I've never gotten it. How many times have you done this before? Uh a few. A few dozen? Yes. Uh -oh. Well, I'm gonna give you a few more minutes oh, just because oh, I'm oh. Oh, Yes! 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 We got the medicine! Congratulations! You did it, honey. That's it. That's the game. <laughs> what? Why did they? This is. This song is too. This song is too banging for this game. Okay, we're at one win, one loss. Wait, that was two losses. Fuck it, we're rolling again. I'm on a winning streak. How did this get made? Um, by the grace of God, I guess. And Alfred Hitchcock. Actually, you know what? I doubt he had any input on this whatsoever. Yeah. He but that's was dead. That would be a problem, yeah. That's Alfred Hitchcock presents brought to you by Toyota for 3DO. Can you just leave this music on while we uh, wrap up? Featuring oh, the theme music. of Alfred Hitchcock Jazz Fusion version. There we go. So what do we think of today's selection? Have I confused you? Have I raised more questions than answered them? Cuz if I if I did, I did my job. I I don't... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alex I'm is, sorry. Alex I'm... is thoroughly flummoxed, and I'm taking that as a win. Yep, we started with Twisted, the ultra 90s game show for 3DO. That was overpowering. I honestly didn't know how I could continue after that, but we did. And we ended up with Theater Wars. We ended up with Royal Pro Wrestling. Took a side trip to our old friend Dennis Miller. Mm -hmm. And in the world of celebrities, we ended up... At Alfred Hitchcock. And don't forget about that amazing... Don't forget about King of Comedy, one of the best... Oh, yeah, King the, of Comedy. One of the most original theatrical productions I've ever seen. After the stream, I have to clip my King of Comedy production because I'm super proud of that. I feel, yeah, we pretty much uh, did all the professions tonight. We wrestled. We did theater production. We did roulette with Alfred Hitchcock, a very famous profession. We 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 were journalists with uh, Dennis Miller mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. also comedians. Pretty well-rounded stream. Mm -hmm. That concludes this episode of Multimedia Monday. Hope you've enjoyed yourself. We'll be back uh, some other Monday with more PC games from Alex. Yep. And then after that, I got to figure out some CDI games to play. There's a few more multimedia games for CDI. Just a few. We'll, we'll, we'll showcase those when the time comes. Good. i got to look for a raid target. Alex, wrap us up to these jazzy beats. <laughs> All right, cats and kittens. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're on Patreon. <laughs> I, yeah, I know. I deserve that derisive laugh. Um, uh, think, uh, If you'd like to support us, we are on Patreon. Patreon.com slash RetroPals. Pitch in at least five bucks a month. You get access to our weekly polls. And you get to choose what we play every Wednesday. This week we are doing, uh, y'all chose uh, Mega, Mega Drive, Drive Kusoge. Kusoge. Ooh. In stereo. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to that because I, I'm going to, sorry to put some behind the scenes stuff in this, but Danny said he'd been waiting for to do this entire life. Like, <laughs> you were just so excited for Ever this. since I was a baby, I was researching Mega Drive Kusoge, and we got a whole bunch to show off on Wednesday. That's at 7 p.m. Central. Please look forward to it. Definitely I, tune in. Who am I hosting? You're hosting someone good. Who plays games, anyway? Oh, we're also on YouTube, youtube.com slash RetroPals. Uh, latest video should be up. Last I checked, it was processing, but it should be up by now. Oh, my God. Okay, I got my target. Okay. This is a nice coincidence. Uh, just the other day, I was talking about Contra Rogue Core, that extremely horrible new Contra game for Xbox One and PS4. Mm -hmm. Our friend Real Soviet Bear is playing it, Ooh. and please share in his suffering to ease his burden. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our channel and type in Raid Real Soviet Bear. I love this track. Is yeah. it still on? No, keep, I, it, I... keep it going. Let okay, it ride. Okay, okay, okay. Bump it. Okay, there it is. Cool, cool. Join the raid. Keep the 3DO in your heart. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you on Wednesday. Thanks for watching. <laughs> see you, folks.